I'm Paul. I'm Devin. Together, we're Dads and Dice. Two dads who like to play some games during our free time. That's right. And today, we are super pumped to play a game that is new to us, not new uh, around, although always coming out with new modular sets, and that is the tactical combat game featuring any fighter from anywhere, Unmatched. Uh, this game has been recommended to us many, many times from people that watch our Dice Throne uh playthroughs that it's not necessarily similar but the fact that it just kind of has all different types of fighters um, and characters with all different unique abilities and so we definitely have been wanting to check it out thankfully finally got us a copy uh, we got the redemption row copy featuring luke cage moon knight and ghost rider and we are really pumped to get it to the table we'll see y'all there Okay, we have everything set up. Honestly, I can tell you what I really enjoy right away is the fact that it is a super fast setup time. Um, almost, I would say, Dice Thrones level of fast setup time. You put this board out, you each grab your character with your own deck, uh, put out these miscellaneous um, tokens, and that's really it. You're ready to play. Uh, playing also very simple, very different than Dice Thrones, but very simple. So this is all card driven. So on your turn, you do two actions and there are three choices you choose from. Um, the first one is maneuver, which is essentially your way of moving around the map. Uh, so ultimately, uh, we each have a hero here. I start with 16 health while Paul starts with 17 health. And the object of the game is to defeat the opponent, get their health to zero. So we each have character cards, and I'm going to put Paul's up here so you can see it. So here's Moon Knight, and here is Ghost Rider. Um, they tell us our starting health as well as our base movement. So my movement is three, uh, Paul's is two. And so if I choose the maneuver action, I can move um, three adjacent spaces following kind of the lines around the map. Now you'll notice that the board itself is laid out into a different colored sections. And so um, both of our fighters are essentially melee fighters, meaning we just have to be adjacent to each other in order to do damage. However, we might possibly have some attacks and there are other fighters in the game that could be ranged fighters. And so if you are a ranged or using a ranged attack, then whatever zone you are in uh, color wise you could hit anybody in that existing zone so if i had some sort of ranged attack and um, ghost rider was here because the purple goes to here i can hit him this is also kind of a dual zone thing where it's also green so if paul was up here uh, i could hit him as well and so yeah it's it's honestly i think very intuitive and really neat how they did that, and um, I, I'll say I kind of like the uh, theme in that you're moving around mm -hmm. a complex or, or building, or each one's a little bit different. This one has a helicopter pad and um, a kind of like data center, and it's like you are, you're just, you're fighting in different rooms of the building, right? Like how if you ever watch any uh, kind of um, superhero action, <laughs> yep. you're, you're just going it's that from, hallway scene. Yeah, you're going from room to room uh, battling each other, and so you actually get to do this, and I think uh, I think they've done that well, but I'll get, I'll get back, uh, back in. And so maneuvering is using your base movement to move that three. And that part is um, optional. Uh, what is not optional about maneuvering is you must draw a card when you maneuver. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll start with a hand size of five. Our hand limit is seven, checked at the end of the turn. And so anytime you maneuver, you have to draw a card. You don't necessarily have to move. Uh, the second thing you can do uh, is really kind of... Um, a, uh, the way both of the next things work, and that is to scheme. And scheming is just straight up playing a card. So you will have some of these cards here with a lightning bolt effect. And if you scheme, you get to play that just doing the effect on the card. Very simple there, and just play the card, do what it says. Um, for both our characters, 
they can be played, any of our cards can be played by anyone. Some other characters, it doesn't necessarily work that way, mm -hmm. and they will distinguish who can actually play the card here. But for us, anybody can play them. The last thing you can do is you can attack. And so when you attack, you will, if it's my turn, I will declare I am attacking. And then you have kind of um, three other symbols on cards here. Um, this right here is an attacking card. This right here is a defense card. And this right here is a versatile card, meaning it can be used for an attack or a defense. So we symbol there. So I would declare that I am attacking Paul, and I place a card face down. Paul then, as the defender, gets to pick a card, and he plays it face down. And then we both reveal the cards. So in this case here, I am doing three damage. Paul is doing zero block or zero um, mitigation of that. And so uh, if any damage goes through, you subtract a block. And if any goes through, uh, Paul takes that damage. And so in this case, he does three damage. Now, all of the cards, or most I should say, will have some sort of effect when you uh, play them. So first up is the immediate. Uh, cards. So when you play this at the and you flip it over in combat, you resolve the immediate effects. Next up is during the combat. So uh, during the combat, you will uh, get to play those cards, resolving their effects. And then the last thing is uh, is after combat. And so then there's some sort of after combat. Um, the winner of the combat, if you are the attacker and you do at least one point of damage, you are the winner. If you are the defender and you stop all damage and don't receive any, you are the winner. And so cards that affect the who won the combat, uh, that is how you distinguish that. And really, that is the game. Uh, so you get two, you do two of you know those things, and we keep going until somebody's at zero health points. Nice. Yeah, and then here on the board, something special about this one is you see these uh, tokens. So you've got these purple ones. Uh, if you're on the spaces next to them, adjacent to them, you can use those. So there, this one is plus two to either your defense or your attack, plus one, plus one. And then we've got some specific scheme tokens here that we could use uh, if we're in those spots. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll cover those uh, as we get there. As we get to them. Yeah. So I guess we can go ahead and explain kind of what our character's abilities are here. Um, so I will be a Ghost Rider. I'll show that up here because I think that's pretty sweet. So that's that miniature there. Um, and Ghost Rider's ability basically is he has move to, um, but he does have these Hellfire up here. And he has five of them. Um, and at any point during my maneuver or during my maneuver, I can spend a Hellfire and instead of moving two, I move four. Um, normally your player, your fighter cannot go through opponents, um, but if I do my ability, I can go through um, Ghost or, or uh, Moon Knight here, and he will receive a damage by doing that. Yeah, and so mine is um, thematic with Moon Knight there, and he's got uh, his sweet cape. Uh, so I start off as Moon Knight. And Moon Knight has the ability, at the start of your turn, you can move two spaces. And then at the end of my turn, I must switch forms into Khonshu. Um, and then Khonshu has the ability, he adds two to attacks. He cannot be damaged from non-combat damage. Um, and then at the end of Khonshu's turn, he must switch to Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight adds one to all his defensive values. Then at the end of his turn, he switches to Moon Knight, and so the cycle goes on. So uh, kind of a neat thing. Not yeah. sure how I'm going to juggle that. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I have my defense when I need it and my attacks when I need it and not uh, those two things mixed up. But that's a, that is it. So um, we had already decided Paul was going to be first. That's right. It's so, technically, it's the younger player. And so yeah, younger player here. So I will go first. And we start off with uh, five cards in our hand. Yes. Okay. And I'm actually going to take this over here. I think this would be a good place for us to play our attack and defense cards. Um, I don't know if you can still see yours there to see who you are. Um so let's see what's going on uh all right well i'm gonna i think the best thing to do is just move 
and uh, we're gonna move close to you, so we'll maneuver. Um, so I will take a card. Um, I will move twice. One, well, let's go one, two this way. And then I have to take another one. So let's maneuver again. And we'll go And you don't one. have to spend your Hellfire, it's an optional thing? It's an optional thing, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I can't, you may spend one Hellfire. Okay. If I do, then I increase my value to four. All right, so that's where uh, that's where I'll be, and I'm at seven. So, on you. Okay, so at the start of my turn, I move two. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go. I guess let's go one, two, and then I guess hmm. Guess I'll maneuver. So I'll draw a card. And I'm gonna just move one space here. You know what? Now we'll go one, two, three, and we'll um. come here. And That's your two moves, right? Uh, no, so that was that was one. My, oh, this you was have free. Five, that's right. Um, so that was my maneuver. So I guess now I will attack. I'll okay. attack. And so you get plus two to your attack. I do. Um, so I guess let's do. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, and I think playing this one right. So we'll do this one. Okay. Uh, ready? Yeah. One, two, go. So you're dealing four damage. Yeah. I'm blocking two, um, but it does say faint, so immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Okay, so it would have been after combat I could change my next identity. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Um, so it will be six damage. You're blocking two, so you take four. Yep. And then I believe this just goes away. So taking four, 13. All right, these go away. All right. And that is the end of my turn. Nice. Okay, so it's on me. Um, let's uh, let's get to... Oh, and I must change forms. must forms. Change. So I am now Khonshu. And Khonshu, I believe, is your heavy hitter. Yeah, so he adds two to the value of his attacks um, and does not take damage from um, effects other than combat damage. Other than combat damage. Yeah, so if you had a card that would deal damage or possibly like this electrified uh, yeah. floor, none of that would affect him. Just combat damage. Um, okay. I think we're going to go here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and attack. Let's do it. So we're here. I know what I'm doing. Let's do this one here. Okay. Three, two, one. So I am doing two damage here. I'll pull it up there. Um, Blaze of Glory, and then after combat, I can spend any amount of Hellfire, and I deal with that much um, if you're in my zone. Okay. Um, okay. I am doing Mines and After Combat 2, so I'm blocking okay. three. Okay. Um, so, so you technically win the combat. Yep. So okay. I do win the combat. All right. Um, so if you win the combat, I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to spend four of these. Now, I don't think you want to do this. Now, Conchu, that's the thing with Conchu. Oh, you it's not take... com It's after combat. Yes, that's yeah. right. Ugh. All of mine are after combat. Okay. Cool. All right. So... So I don't take any damage. You don't take any. Okay. Uh, I just don't take any. All right. Um, ooh. Well, that kind of messes up my next thing, too. Huh. Because you cannot take any besides combat. Well. All right. Let's, uh, we're going to attack you again. Okay. And go here. I misinterpreted that. 
I'm gonna play, I think, this one here. Okay, ready? Yep. There we go. <clears throat> so, it's control the demon during combat. This card's value is plus one for each hellfire. So that's okay. five. Okay, and you don't have to spend them. So yep. pretty cool. Um, mine is good enough. Um, it's an after combat effect. Um, so anyway, so I am now taking one damage. Okay. Uh, you do five, I block four. And then my after combat is I may draw two cards. If I do, I would take two damage. However, Conchu does doesn't. not, so I will just draw two. Okay, nice. I think you got uh, Conchu there. All right, and that's my two moves. Okay. So now it's on to you. On to me, and now uh, it's my turn to do some attacking. Um, and I think... Man, I like all these. I think I'm going to start off uh, doing an attack. Okay. Um, and let's start it off with this one right here. Okay. Um, we'll go here. Okay. Um, so we reveal. And I'm playing the same thing. Control the demon. Okay. So I'm blocking five. Okay. Um interesting blocking five hmm so i can play a boost card yep. in this combat so yours is that's why i always win and you don't boost this attack well i guess You know what, I'm uh Yeah, I'm gonna well uh Hmm, man, yeah. <laughs> uh we'll just let it go. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. okay. And then my second I'll attack again here. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on a second. Conchu has plus two attack. Oh, um, he does. So that and, should have been even. So that would be at four. In which case, I think I will boost Four it. Four would be at five. Uh, oh, three, yeah. five, yes. In which case, I think I will go ahead and boost it. Um, and let's boost it with... Let's boost it with this. Madness okay. will keep you alive, uh, so that will make it a total of eight. Okay. Uh, and so you'll take three there. Three damage there. Okay. I'm down to 10. Okay, and then and I guess... second one. I'm going to attack again. Okay, let's see. And I'm playing all my cards is the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm not 100% sure what else is in this deck. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to attack a second time, and we're going to do this. Okay. Um, I have to do this one. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so four, six... So um, you're not real. I mm -hmm. have after combat. You okay. have during combat. What do we got? All right. So it's a deal with the devil. I can spend any amount of hellfire, increase the value of this card by that amount. Mm -hmm. So you're at six. I would have to spend four hellfire. Um, and let's do it. Let's spend four of them. Okay. So that is six. Okay. So that blocks it. I don't think you can boost it or anything, right? Uh, I cannot, yeah. Okay. So one Hellfire left. Okay. And then I'm, I'm debating here. So I may change identities here after combat. So I think you have to. I have to at the end of my turn. Yes. I can choose oh. to right now. And, that would... and so this adds to my defensive, mm -hmm. right? Which I'm probably going to be attacked, so it may not be a bad thing. Um, but Moon Knight lets you move. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know what? We're we're not. We're gonna. I, I just want to come here back to country, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use it. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to at the end of my turn go to uh, Mister Knight. Mr. Knight. Uh, okay. And what is he? He's adds one. He adds to all one to all defensive value. Okay. All right. So first thing that I'm gonna do. Hmm. <clears throat> so ghost riders when you maneuver you may spend one health fire if you do increase ghost riders move value to four and he may move through opposing fighters and deal one damage to each opposing fighter he moved through so i'm going to spend a hellfire i'm going to move through you just to go here mm -hmm. so you take one damage there mm -hmm. um And then I'm going to go ahead and attack you. Uh, I am going to draw a card since I maneuvered. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's my attack to you. Let's do this one here. Okay. So my attack is the wicked will burn. Okay. Um, it's three. Mine is three as well. Okay. So we are tied there. Yeah. So after combat, if Ghost Rider started this turn in a different space, he gains two Hellfire. Okay. And my after combat, if you won, which I did, I can look at the top three cards of your... We Oh, because you didn't take any damage. Yep. Deck and discard one of them. Okay. So what do we have? Hopefully, uh, oh, look at this one. <laughs> I'm going to have to see this one that you discard. Uh, yeah, because I'm definitely discarding it, I think. I mean, honestly, you got some good cards coming back. Coming. Um, this one's being discarded? That one's being discarded. Let's see what it is. The Spirit of Vengeance. You may spend one Hellfire to draw two cards, and it is a five attack. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's my two turns. Okay. All right. So. Oh, let's just. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to. I think I might maneuver. Okay. How do I want to maneuver around here? Let's uh do I want to maneuver? Chasing you with my uh, chain fire whip there. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll still go ahead and I think uh, we're gonna attack. Okay. And so I'm gonna play that one there. Okay. And I'll go here. Okay. Ready. And we reveal. And I cannot defend. So, I take four damage. Okay. Six. Interesting. That makes me wonder, do I... Do I attack again? Hmm. You may change to your next identity. Keep the pressure on. But I'm also running out of cards. <laughs> I've leave myself in a very vulnerable spot having no cards in my <laughs> hand if I attack a second time. 
You sure do. Um, but I also put you in a pretty bad spot, too. Could be. Um, but I don't know. You know what? I think I'm not. I think I'm going to maneuver. Okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Interesting. And discard your hand and draw three cards if you want to do that scheme. Oh, but it is an action, so you can't do that. Never yeah, mind. I cannot do that. So, okay. And then I drew my card from maneuvering, and that's my two actions. All right. So then you switch back to... Uh, yeah, I am back to good old Moon Knight. Good old Moon Knight. So at the start of my turn, I can move, uh, or I move up to two spaces. Okay. Um, so I am going to maneuver, and I'm going to spend the Hellfire. We're going to go through you. One, two, three, four. Okay. And. and so I take a damage because that's the hellfire. You do take a damage. Ability. Yep. And, okay. Um, so you're going to be Khonshu next. Hmm. Where? This is such a tight space. I know. I can't hide from you. I know. We're fighting in this little uh, central room here. Just trying kinda, to think, where can I go? Just kind of dancing around. That's not five spaces away. Because that's what you're about to move. Technically, need to move six spaces away. <laughs> There's nowhere. Okay. Um, I guess I will move. I will maneuver here. I'll draw another card. Okay. On to you. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I do I I think man I'm going to go use the mm -hmm. at the start of the turn to just move here. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna attack. Okay. And we're going to play this guy here. All right. Okay. Let me reveal. Okay. Um, well, that was going to one. cancel all the effects. So, yeah, you block <laughs> one there. So, you, I take one damage. Yep. Okay. And that is gone. You used the food tray. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to attack a... Uh, Second time. Second time. I should have done this differently, but that yeah. is okay. Okay. Um, and, <laughs> um, I add the top card as a boost here. Um, so that is three. three. All right. I'm down to two here. But I'm also out of cards. You're also out of cards. Okay. Um, and I am also now conscious. You're at 13. You can do free damage to I me know, right now. I know. I know. Sure. The thing is... This is my time. Okay. I'm going to play this one, and you're not going to defend it. It's five damage. After combat, I can spend a Hellfire to gain true co two cards. Okay. So you take five. I'm spending that Hellfire. Okay. Hmm. Man. I am going to... Ooh, okay. Okay. 
let's uh, let's do this scheme here. And it's Hell's Ride with me. Move Ghost Rider and up to one adjacent fighter up to four spaces each. I gain two Hellfire and I gain an action. Okay. So you and I, where are we going to go? Can we make it here? Nope. Look at opponent's hand to draw one card. <laughs> I get a card is the thing. Oh, this one did give me... Wait, where did that card go? Here it is. I do gain an extra action after this. I don't want to do that because then I deal a damage to myself. You know what? Let's go... I don't know if I want to move us. I think we're okay. Let's let's get you over here just to get you out of the way. Then I'll move here. Um, and then We're going to do, uh, I brought the devil with me, so that's going to do three damage to you. Mm -hmm. I can spend two hellfire to gain an action, so I'll spend okay. two of them. So that's Nine three. Five. Yep. <sighs> I wish you had cards. <laughs> I wish you had cards. And then I will... Maneuver. And draw a card. Okay, your turn. Well, I'm going to start my turn by maneuvering. Yeah. Right, so we're going to draw a card. So you're Conchu, right? Yes. Um, and I'm just going to maneuver here and I'm going to yeah. attack. Okay. Uh Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um all right. So I block it. You do. Um uh, you have a during combat. Yep. So it it just adds your boost to my card so it's 4. Okay. Pretty cool. Yep. Uh my after combat I deal two damage to both fighters in combat. So that is... That is enough. Enough to yeah. get me down to zero. That is. Enough to get you to three. Uh, technically, I'm Conchu, so I technically don't, don't take any there. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, man. That was it. That was, uh, that was a really quick little uh, unmatched That was game. real quick. Man, I, I wanted you to have some defense cards because of the boost. Uh, right, so if you would have defended it, I would have been able to boost it and right. attack you that way. That was that was really what I was hoping for there. Uh, overall, that was that was a good little match. That yeah, it was. That was, that was fun. It was <laughs> a, a quick little thing. It's a, just kind of a like dice thrones, right? A really just brawling, duke it out type of uh, <laughs> fest. And I don't know. That was that was a fun thing. Yeah, uh, like we mentioned, you know, we haven't played it very much or. Or anything like that and so I think as we get more comfortable with the cards that we have on our deck we know uh, when we'll be able to maneuver and all that or when we should maneuver when we should do all that other stuff um, but yeah I think uh, just some more playthroughs through it and, and we'll get a little bit more confident in it if this is something that you guys want to see please let us know um, we've got uh, the Hell's Kitchen box as well yeah so that comes with I it's think a, it's Electra Daredevil and Bullseye and Bullseye yeah, yeah so so mix and match some of them up i know uh, we're big marvel fans obviously <laughs> yeah. so those were the first ones to go to uh, but yeah this was fun i i liked how different these two played uh, for sure yeah so anyway uh like always please like comment subscribe all those things really do help us uh, and i think that's it so we'll see you all in the next one and we are really pumped to get it to the table
We'll see y'all there. <laughs> I was gonna say get up to the table. That's what screwed me up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Okay. We uh oh I'm gonna. Okay.